Carl Sampson has made a decades-long career painting portraits of some of Cincinnati's prominent citizens. As Brian Maines explains, so, though, it's one of the local artist's portraits of a fictional character, though, that has ensured him a bit of Cincinnati history, a place in the stars. I always enjoyed Star Wars, but I wasn't maybe one of the biggest fans that they had ever had. I am now, of course. In late January, Cincinnati painter Carl Sampson learned his Star Wars-inspired portrait Padme resplendent with Nabu Madala had found a new home, George Lucas's Skywalker Ranch in Marion County, California. And there was a, an employee there who got with me. So we had a really nice conversation. And uh, he said, right now, the pieces at Skywalker's ran or Skywalker Ranch. Sampson originally created the portrait of actress Natalie Portman as Queen Amidala, haloed in gold leaf for the Abrams book, Star Wars Art Visions. After the book published in 2010, more than 100 of its illustrations, including Samson's, traveled the world as part of an art exhibition of the same name. The painting had, itself had been on display in Japan for the last two or three years. The portrait was the second Samson had submitted for possible inclusion in Star Wars art visions. Uh, the first idea, which is the idea behind me, uh, it's the charcoal drawing of Natalie Portman as Queen Amidala. But that was too close to something another artist had done in New York. Samson's wife suggested for his second attempt, he create a portrait using gold leaf. And I thought, that's, that's it, gold leaf. And I thought, well, Queen Amidala is actually the mother of Luke Skywalker. So I thought she's kind of a Madonna figure in, in a way, uh, sort of uh, giving birth to this child that, that did so much in the Star Wars series. And I thought, why not, instead of putting a halo, put the orbital planet the orbital path of the planet Naboo around her head instead of a halo. Samson even managed to weave a bit of Cincinnati history into the piece now on display at Skywalker Ranch. The gold leaf that I used for it, some of it was actually here in the Wessels attic, Herman and Bessie Wessel, who were the great Cincinnati painters. And in true Star Wars fashion, the saga of Samson's portrait might not be over yet. There's a chance that as the museum develops, the Museum of Narrative Art that George Lucas is building in San Francisco, uh, that those pieces could end up there. For more information about Samson's Star Wars portrait and the artist's other works, read my full story on WCPO.com. Brian Maines, WCPO 9 News.